<laughs> I'm an engineer because I love the creative outlet that it provides me. It allows me to use my mind to invent new things that can be applied to help conserve animals and historic places in the world. Cory Jaskolski is in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, exploring massive underground sinkholes. Known as cenotes, these naturally occurring wells were sacred sites for the ancient Maya civilization, who lived in this region more than 1,200 years ago. Cory develops technologies that allow him to explore Earth's most challenging environments. Today, he's plunging deep below the surface. It was amazing. I, I thought that this cave diving would just be a big dark hole where you couldn't see anything and that I'd feel claustrophobic. But one of the technologies that we brought with was something invented here at National Geographic in the remote imaging lab called the Sun Sphere. The Sun Sphere is this immensely bright light in a glass sphere. Turning it on it lit up the inside of this flooded cave as if the sun just suddenly rose inside the cave. And it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This cenote was a regular site of Maya human sacrifice. But today, Cory and his team are looking for another type of skeleton. A preserved skull of an ancient Ice Age bear. Using state-of-the-art 3D imagery, they take a three-dimensional digital capture of the skull without damaging or removing it from the site. Well, one of the best parts about this project is that this is hard work and it's not just the work of one or two people, but we have this great team with us. We had people doing ground penetrating radar. We were using sonar to explore underwater in the snow days. So it's not like we're coming and just getting one 3D scan. We're actually able to get this huge multidisciplinary cross-section understanding of these places that we're working in. Using new tools and technology, Cory is able to collect more information about the ancient Maya than previously possible. Like using this laser scanner that fires over 20,000 laser pulses per second. Digitally preserving ancient temples with ultra-precise 3D models. For important details hidden behind walls, he uses a special ground-penetrating radar. or a small, flexible camera that fits through cracks and holes. These problems haven't been solved in the past for some of these applications because no one's thought of a way to do them. So that requires really challenging yourself to not just think the way that you do every day, but just to step back, brainstorm. Even if some of the ideas are crazy and totally impossible, they might have some valuable component to them. Corey doesn't only use cameras. In this cenote, he's using sound waves, mapping the landscape with sonar technology to make it more accessible to divers and archaeologists. I bring the philosophy to my work that we all have our own special skills. Mine is engineering, and that we can take these skills and help make a difference in the world. If it was easy, someone else would do it. Corey's technology has been used in a variety of fields, from archaeology, to paleontology, to architectural restoration. By giving people a different way to look at things, it helps them connect and care about the places and animals in the world that we need to conserve.